Welcome back to my studio, I'm Richie Castellano, and this is the third video in my Line 6 Variax guitar series. In the last video, which you could see here, I talked all about the modeled sounds that come loaded stock into these Variax guitars. In this video, we're going to talk about using the Variax guitars with the Line 6 Helix, and that's when things get really crazy. I use this a lot on my podcast, and you can see videos from there here. It's called Band Geek, and we do a lot of cover tunes. This is amazing for cover band musicians or for wedding band musicians or, or Broadway show musicians. It's just the idea that you can change your entire rig, guitar and tuning with a single foot switch is mind blowing. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. So here we go. Okay, so now I wanna talk about what you can do when you use a Variax with a Line 6 Helix. Basically, you can do anything you want, it's nuts. Quick note here, these guitars use ethernet cables if you're gonna plug them into a Helix. So the first example, I want to go back to my acoustic sound here. And I want to show you how to store a custom tuning. It's very, very easy. So with the Variax plugged in via Ethernet, you want to go to this first guitar block. And um, now we're going to turn the page until we get to tunings. So now, let's say I wanted to do Led Zeppelin's Rain Song, which I have a video for that for the old... Uh, HD 500 if you want to see that. But the tuning for that is, I wrote it down here, DC, DGC, GCD. Okay, so you have D, G, C, G, C, D. So now, so I can do all my... I can store that with this preset. Save. So now, say I'm doing something else, you know. I can always go back to that tuning just with the press of a foot switch. It's pretty amazing. Now I'm going to show you another concept you can use with the Variax tuning, and this is something I stole from Sean Halley. Um, this is a Nashville-inspired B-bender we're going to do with this setup. So I got my T model. Let's pick. An amp that works. Let's do um, let's do the twin. Okay. Let's uh, beef this up a bit. Yeah, a little bit of a slap delay. Cool. Put a little compressor on here. something pretty interesting. So I'm going to click back on this first block, the guitar block. Oops, sorry. Make sure I'm on it. And now I'm going to go to the tuning here. And I'm going to press down on the second string. Okay? So the second string parameter is going to be... Let's do foot switch 2. Let's make it momentary. Let's make the minimum value zero and the maximum value plus two. So now check this out. a momentary B bender. It's pretty cool. The compressor is kind of squashing it a bit, so maybe I'll chill that out a bit. So that's 
that's a really easy way to get that B-Bender effect just with this, and that blew my mind. Now let's do a sound where you can use both the magnetic and Variax pickups at the same time. So to do this, we're gonna use both paths on the Helix. Okay, so let's say I want a Strat on one side, um, and like this kind of Strat, and I want an acoustic guitar on the other side, or a 12 string on the other side. You know what, let's say, let's use, um, yeah, let's do an acoustic 12. Oh, you know what, let's, let's go even one step further. Let's do the sitar, let's do that. Okay, so on this top row, I wanna use the magnetic only. So to do that, now I'm gonna click here, and I'm going to pick Variax Magnetics. So now I'm hearing the magnetic pickups here from the Variax. So let's put that through an amp. I'll use a litigator again. something sort of funky on here. Um. Cool. All right. So let's pan this. So we're going to go out here to the output. Let's pan this all the way to the left. Cool. Now let's go down here to this block on path two and let's click that and change this to Variax regular. Here we go. Regular Variax. So now I can switch this to. pan this to the right side. Let's put a delay on here just to be different. Now, another trick I like to do if I want things to sound a little more separated, like let's say I want this to sound like two guitar players instead of one, what I'll do is I'll put a simple delay here, I'll put the mix to 100%, and the time sort of short, like maybe 10 to 20 milliseconds. No feedback. And now, there's a little delay between each of the notes. And I can go a little crazier with that delay time if I want it to sound really different. Let's say I want to be able to change pickups on the magnetic side, but I want the Variac side to stay as a sitar. Well, that's pretty easy to do. What you do is you go over to that block, that first block with the Variacs in it. You page over and you see where it says preset Variax lock control? Well, we can lock the pickup selector. So now... No matter what I do, you still hear that sitar. So you can lock out anything. You can lock out the volume, you can lock out the tone, anything. Another fun thing you can do is you can set the volume and tone controls to map to different parameters on the Helix. So 
Let's go crazy for a second and put a wah in here. Okay, now position. I'm gonna hold it down. And the parameter is set up to expression controller one, expression pedal one, like it should be, but we want it to be variax tone. Cool, all right. So, check this out. So that's right, these two knobs are real-time controllers for any parameter on the Helix. Basically, the only limit is your imagination. If you can think of something, you can probably do it with this combination. So yeah, I think this is a great tool for most guitar players to have. It allows you to do things you just can't do with traditional gear. Um, and again, this isn't a replacement for traditional gear. It's something new and different and very cool. And uh, I love experimenting with it. I love looking at the different ways I can achieve different sounds. And that's what we're all trying to do is achieve different sounds. So if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the bottom and uh, below the video. And I'd like to have the back and forth with you guys. And I like to learn things from you guys, as I say in every video. And every time I post one of these, uh, the comments are great. And I'm always picking up tricks from you guys. So thank you very much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and throw this video a like if you liked it or if it helped you at all and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching this video. To see even more videos, make sure you subscribe to this channel. If you'd like to interact with me on social media, please follow my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. If you like podcasts, check out my show Band Geek on the Riotcast Network. For tour dates and even more info, go to richiecastellano.com. Now, here's a video I picked just for you. I think you'll like it. Go ahead, click it. It's good. Eh?